What's going on YouTube? I wanted to do another video on Cody, but this time for your Mac. So I'm going to show you how to get it and install it on your Mac. You could just type it in, Cody. Here we go. This is the main source for Cody right here. Go down. You have all your OS's right here. Down again. I'm going to Mac OS. Installer. Allow. Okay, that's smaller. Now install Cody. You go drag Cody to your applications folder. And there she goes. She's in now. Close that. You want to eject this quick. There you go. Now go either you can swipe with your fingers as I do, or you can look in your applications folder. Open Cody. Open. There we go. Now we go to settings. Go down to settings. Go to add-ons. Turn on unknown sources. Hit yes. Now go back. I use my keyboard. I hit execute to go back. Uh, go to file management. Source. Double tap for source. Double tap to put in the name. Okay. Slash slash. What build? Matter of fact, today we're going to use the titanium build. Let's try that one out. People that sir frame. Builds dot com slash. Hit OK. Hit Supreme. Hit OK. Hit OK. Execute back. Back again. Now we're here. Matter of fact, now we could have stood there. Back to settings, go to add ons. Go to install from zip file. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. No, you want a little too for well. Yeah, here we go. All right. Supreme. Supreme builds right here. Tap on that. Wait for an install. <clears throat> now you can go from here. You go to install from repository. Supreme builds. Program add ons. Supreme build wizard. Install the wizard. Miss continue. Go to build menu. Okay, now you got the different titanium builds here. 
If you don't see yours, try to get as close as possible to yours. For instance, I'm on 18.5. So I think the highest they have in here is 18.3, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's 18.3. So that should be compatible. Any 18 should be compatible with 18.5. Anyway, let's go to the USA server. All right. Fresh install, standard install. Standard is pretty much as long as you, as I said before, as long as you ain't got a previous build, you can go with standard install. But if you had a previous build, you don't want this build to be on top of that. Stuff sometimes gets uh, confused and everything like that. So you want to erase that build every time you're putting on a new build. So you would go to fresh install. This is my first time doing it, but I, I always choose fresh install just so I don't avoid any type of errors and stuff like that. Okay, there we go. Continue. This is my first time actually on this build. I've ever, I actually have never seen the Juggernaut build. <laughs> I usually go to either Xana X repo or the No Limits build. Those are the main two builds I use. But I heard this titanium build is pretty good. I'm surprised too. It's a small build too, 134 megabytes. Because even the No Limits is a bigger a bigger file than that. I think it's 200 and something, 200, 300 something megabytes. And even the, the Xana X repo even is pretty big too. I think that's like 400 when it opens up four, 500 megabytes. Okay. I think that quit it a little too early. It didn't even give me my force quit, so let's see what happened there. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, I guess it did install. That was quick. Now, as I always say, give it a minute so everything can start popping up. Everything can start updating. Check on these errors. I see you Got some errors here. There we go. There we go. The TV shows. Check the movies open yet. <clears throat> yeah, it's still loading up. As I always say, just to give it a few minutes so it can load up everything. And there you go. This right here is the Juggernaut build from Titanium. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, and this is your first time coming here, subscribe. Thank you for watching.